guys, so I thought it would be fun to play some bad Super Nintendo games. Now, these aren't like the worst Super Nintendo games of all time or anything like that. These are just some of the ones that I personally think are pretty bad. Let's check them out. Now let's play Ren and Stimpy Time Warp. There's a Nickelodeon logo that we all know and love. The new Nickelodeon logo is so soulless. Like, have you seen it? It's just so like minimal and not good. That's like a whole trend right now. Anyway, seems like a good start. We got some Pepto-Bismol or something going down. All right, now why is it called Time Warp? I think it'll explain it in a second. Stimpy hears a commercial saying that you can win your very own time machine. So those are Gritty Kitty. Okay, so we need to get a bunch of Gritty Kitty so we can get our time machine. So Stimpy, you know, he's the one that wants to do this. You would think we'd be playing as Stimpy. But no, we're playing as Ren. Maybe we play as Stimpy later. Ah! So basically all you do is just, you slap shit. Can I slap this bike? No. Nope. See it where the board says hit me? Don't hit the wrong one! That's majority of this game that I've seen so far. You just slap fences and bugs. And collect your gritty kitty. Now, I think fire dogs might be worse. But I just feel like this one is more fun to talk about. But by no means, just because it's fun to talk about doesn't mean it's a good game, you know what I mean? Wait, hit me. No me. Well, which one? Ah, I thought it said hit that one. Okay, oh my god. So I really liked Ren and Stimpy as a kid. My mom didn't really like me watching it, but it was one of the first cartoons I really liked. Uh... And I'm kind of surprised I didn't get any of the Ren and Stimpy games when I was a kid. Probably because my mom didn't really want me to have the Ren and Stimpy games. And you know what? It kind of worked out for the best. It's so hard to tell which piece of the fence you're supposed to slap. Could it? I don't know. I mean, I guess because Ren would always, like, slap Stimpy. So I guess that's why his only attack is slapping. But it's like, come on. You know? Can I slap Stimpy for making me do this? Nope. So now we're slapping the bad dog. How many slaps does he take? Come on. Come on, help me out, Stimpy. And we're dead. And it starts us all the way back at the beginning of the stage with the trailer. I am not playing through this again. I think we get the idea of Ren and Stimpy, what's it called again? Time Warp. Maybe as it goes on, it gets more Time Warpy, but it's just... So now let's move on to Time Cop. Yes, it is based on the movie, which I've never seen, but I don't really think that'll be a problem in playing this game. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Professor Kleindast? <laughs> first things first, the graphics obviously are not too good. Oh, and we only have um, a few bullets, and I just wasted some. So that's not good. Ah! Let's go up here and shoot this guy. Look at it! All the enemies look exactly the same. They look like astronauts with guns. But, like, what kind of game starts you off with, like, three bullets? Like, how many bullets did we even get? I think it was, like, three. Oh, there's some. Okay, four. So each time you get bullets, you only get four. And each enemy takes like two two shots. It's so bad. It's so bad. But I want to try to get to the next level. Just to see what, what else happens. In Time Cop. There, we made it out of level one. And it's like, you would think you can go in those doors. Like, why are the doors opening and closing? You can't go in them. So it's like, what's the purpose? Nothing comes out of them either. It's stupid. Why am I so angry that I can't go in the doors in Time Cop? I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, so actually I guess each enemy only takes two, one bullet? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, it's one. So I was wrong, but still. Give me more than four bullets. So now I have no more bullets. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think I can take any more Time Cop, but there's Time Cop. If somebody actually likes this game, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know why. Maybe I'm missing something. 
totally possible, but wow. Okay, let's move on. All right, so next up we have Space Ace. Now this is, you know, from the Dragon's Lair, Don Bluth family. So, you know it's not gonna be good, but we gotta experience it. We gotta play some Space Ace. A few years ago, I did do a video on Dragon's Lair about just getting through the drawbridge part. So if you wanna check that out, I did that. Let's see how far I can get in Space Ace. I mean, that part looks pretty cool, I gotta admit. <laughs> Her shifty eyes. And why is she smiling? So are they gonna like fight for her honor? So of course we have really big floppy feet. And we're dead. Is is that a dick behind him? Alright, let's try to not get lasered right away. So I'm gonna be honest, I've never gotten past this part. I don't know, I haven't cared to memorize everything. But I'm gonna try tonight. We're gonna try to get past this laser part. And you know what? I don't think we ever will get past that laser part, so fuck it. I'm done. Alright, so next up we have probably one of the worst beat-em-ups I've ever played. Let's play Bebe's Kids! So of course it's based on the movie from the early 90s, which I haven't seen. But I'm pretty sure that even if I have seen the movie, it wouldn't make this game any more enjoyable. Please observe the rules while in Fun World. So basically we're in a theme park setting and we gotta punch this mouse. The controls are so sluggish. It's like, you can't even really play it. Look at the back, says no Beavis. No vibes, no Beavis. What, no Beavis and Butthead? Look at this, it's like I'm in slow motion, or like jumping through mud. If you punch this guy enough, his mask comes off, and I wanna at least do that. There we go. Is his skin gray? Is he a vampire? Is there a vampire underneath there? It looks like a vampire to me. I don't know what's going on. But basically all you can do is punch. Very slowly and kind of kick. There we go. Okay, we got one. Maybe in 10 minutes I can get this guy down too. Oh, and now the FBI agent that kind of looks like Bill Clinton is trying to kidnap us? I don't understand. Like, look how long this takes. Oh. Finally are done with the first two bo enemies. Not even bosses. And now we're on the next two enemies. This is terrible. So I'm just punching him repeatedly. Okay, one down. Let's try to do this one. That's all you do. Can I just walk through? Okay. So, time's up. I was too slow for the very slow game. Okay, so next up we have possibly the most original game ever. Race Drive-In. Now, I know this is based on an arcade game, and for the time, the arcade game did have some pretty impressive graphics. But then the Super Nintendo port happened, and why? I want the yellow one. I want the Speedster. Hmm, stunt track, super stunt track, or autocross track? Let's try, let's start with the one that looks a little more simple. Let's try the autocross track. See, I don't know, it looks like a little less windy, right? Take a look at those mountains. That's a nice detail in the road and the uh, mountains. Game over. I don't even know what I did wrong, but I'll try it again. Let's try a different car. Let's try the Sportster Man. Oh, manual or auto. I don't know my cars. Actually, let's try the Roadster. Let's try that stunt track. It's gonna be awful. Oh my god. Oh, there's other cars with us now. It has those, like, awesome polygon graphics, but not awesome in a good way. Like, Virtua Racing, I actually like those graphics. It's like, I don't know. It's just, 
I guess it's just nostalgia talking, but you know, it's like, it's fine. And it's actually a fun game. This on the other hand, did we just go up a ramp? I can't even tell what the hell we're doing. So I think I'm shifting gears? What am I doing? Oh, is that a cow? It's a cow! I don't want to hit the cow. What if we hit the cow? Let's go up this ramp. We're probably gonna crash and have a fiery death. Oh, no. Here we go. Bam! Oh! <laughs> Instant replay. <laughs> the sound of you crashing, it sounds like... I don't know, a piece of shit hitting the wall or something. <laughs> Alright. Let's try it again. Can you imagine, like, asking for, like, any other game? But let's say Mario Kart or something. And then you get this for Christmas? <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the instant replays. <laughs> and the fire. Alright, so that was Stunt Racer. I'm sorry. That <laughs> I don't even know what the hell's going on. That was Race Driving from 1992. Tengen, what the hell? Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed a look at some bad Super Nintendo games. Sometimes it's fun, you know, looking at the bad stuff. Are there any Super Nintendo games that I didn't include that you think are really bad? Be sure to let me know in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!